If you've ever felt trapped by your diet, stressed out about going to a restaurant with friends, or worried that you're gonna gain fat and lose your progress every single time you go out to eat, you're not alone. I've been there too. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can lose belly fat while not sacrificing your social life, still going out to eat with friends, and having a good time. That's right, you don't have to choose between making progress on your fitness goals or going out to eat with friends. You can do both at the same time. In fact, the strategies that I'm about to share with you have helped me stay lean and still have fun with the people that I care about. By the end of this video, you'll know how to implement them as well and be one step closer to achieving your fitness goals. So if you're tired of stressing over calories or feeling guilty every time you go out to eat, stick with me through the entirety of this video because I'm gonna show you how to lose belly fat while still allowing you to live your life. Let's jump right into it. When I first started trying to lose weight, I was using this method called calorie counting. I would measure out every single gram or ounce of food on a scale, and I would put it into an app called MyFitnessPal that would tell me exactly how many calories I was eating, as well as how much protein, fats, and carbs. I wouldn't allow myself to enjoy certain foods that I really like to eat because of the fact that it didn't have the perfect macronutrient profile that was going along with my diet. And with the foods that I was eating, I would weigh it down every last little crumb. Like if something fell off the scale or it wasn't perfect, I would be so anal about it that I wouldn't eat the food. I would have to make sure that I measured it exactly. This behavior created this like stressful, unhealthy mindset for myself where I wasn't able to go out and eat food or honestly just live like a human. I was so hyper-focused on everything that I was putting into my body where I felt that if it wasn't weighed out or I didn't know the way that it was cooked or I didn't know what exact ingredients were in there or what sugar was in the sauce, that I was just gonna immediately gain back all of the fat and sacrifice all the progress I had made up until that point. I started to feel more trapped inside of this mindset every single day. It created this unhealthy relationship with food where I experienced intense cravings for foods that were high in salt and sugar and fat, all of the classic American junk food. And eventually I caved. I couldn't help myself and I did a massive cheat day and I ate all kinds of unhealthy foods. It started this binge starve cycle where one day I would eat a bunch of food and eat until my stomach was hurting and then the next day I would starve. Throughout the entire experience, I also wasn't letting myself go out with friends because I felt like because I didn't know what was in it, it was gonna destroy my progress. After I experienced the binge eating disorder and the unhealthy mental mindsets, I learned that weight loss isn't truly about restriction or obsession over every single gram or calorie that you eat. It's honestly about balance and still being able to enjoy a variety of foods in moderation without labeling them as good or bad, evil or productive, or this is gonna make me fat. It's the first lesson of this video that tracking calories can be helpful, but it should not restrict you from going out to eat with friends. I want to lay down the groundwork and tell you that it's okay. You can go out to eat with friends, and the next two parts of this video are going to give you strategies of exactly how you can do it while keeping progress. So here's how you actually stay smart while eating out. Because the times in my life where I made the most progress in my fitness, my diet goals, when I did not restrict myself from going out to eat with friends. Before I learned these strategies, I would get extreme stress or suffer from this anxiety and overthinking when I was sitting at the restaurant because I did not know what to order. Everything seemed like it would not fit the diet and just be super confusing. The number one strategy to use while going out is the one plate rule. So whatever you're going to eat, it should only come on one plate and it should fit on that one plate. It means skipping the bread at the beginning of the meal or skipping the dessert at the end. It's just sticking to an entree. Most people gain a bunch of weight when they go to the restaurant because they stuff themselves on the appetizers, the drinks, and the desserts. None of those fit on your one plate. Just stick to the entree that comes on your one plate and it's gonna be an absolute game changer. Try to optimize as much as you can for balance. Get something that's a little bit higher in protein and has a balance of carbs and fats. Depending on the restaurant, there's always something that you can get that's gonna have chicken or steak or turkey, some sort of protein that's gonna help you feel satiated while not overeating. And when you get the food, just eyeball the portions. Is this about how much I eat normally? Is it less? Is it more? Keep that in mind so you can come up with an estimate of how much food that you're eating. This mindset is like thinking of your food as a puzzle and you are a problem solver who's trying to solve the puzzle. And if you figure it out, it's great. You're gonna keep 
going on your progress. The next step to maintaining your weight loss goals while eating out is eating slowly and tuning into your body's natural hunger cues. It was Thanksgiving just a few years ago and I was actually at my heaviest body weight ever. I volunteered to cut the turkey. So I go up and I'm slicing everyone in my family. They're nice thin cuts of white meat. After everyone was served, I decided I'm going for the biggest piece that I can find the entire turkey leg, drumstick, turkey thigh, everything. I wanted it all. So I pile it on my plate. I get a big portion of mashed potatoes and gravy. I go and sit down and just start devouring this food as fast as I can. My family told me I looked like a caveman and they barely even recognized me as I'm just shoveling this food down my throat. I finished the turkey and inhaled the mashed potatoes in what seemed like less than one millisecond. I was eating like my life depended upon it where the food was gonna disappear if I didn't eat it super fast. But after the meal, I felt disgusted. I was overstuffed, so full to the point where my stomach was hurting and it was hard to move or even breathe. Even after that though, I decided to eat dessert, which is insane. I ended up feeling this way because I ate so fast that I wasn't able to tune into my body's hunger cues. And that was the moment that I vowed to never eat like that ever again. The faster that you eat, the less in tune you're going to be with your body because your hunger cues are delayed. So the moment you start eating your food, it takes around 10 minutes for your stomach to signal to the brain that you're full and you should stop eating. So within that 10 minute period, it's really easy to overeat eat more than you need and make negative progress. So the key is to eat slower. And there's a few strategies that you can use to do this. Number one is actually cut your food into smaller bite-sized pieces. Now, if you're anything like me, I like to take a massive chunk of food and just stuff my mouth with it. And my mouth is completely full and I'm chewing, I'm chewing, and then I swallow the food when it's half chewed. That is fast eating. Slow eating is cutting that into half or even a quarter and then chewing the food until it's almost like a paste fully chewed and then swallowing. This increases the amount of time that it takes for you to eat the food and allows your stomach to adapt to the food that's coming in and send signals to your brain that you're full when you are full and prevent overeating. So next time you're eating out, just remember this. Cut your food into a few pieces, slow down and listen to your body. It's gonna make a huge difference. You're not gonna overeat and you'll feel so much better about yourself. If you feel a friend could benefit from this, make sure you share it with them right now so that we can all enjoy ourselves while going out to eat with our friends. Have a good day.